How's it going guys and girls? My name is X. Welcome to Ecarim Mode. So, I've decided to start one a lot earlier this year and we're gonna go with Atletico Madrid. So, I didn't want to do Serie A because obviously my other two career modes have been in the Serie A. Um, didn't particularly fancy BPL so it, it was between Bundesliga and um, Liga BBVA and personally I felt that the um, Liga BBVA would have been a much more interesting uh, career mode run so I am actually going to finish this one because I have a lot more time to do it and you know it's uh, just not going to be rushed like the uh, previous ones were so Atletico have about 80 million transfer um, profit and um, career mode's been changed a lot this year. There's a lot of weird little extra like goals you've got to get. There's different features and whatnot. The layout's different. Like as you can see, your manager has a rating up in the top there. Um, but yeah, we have quite a lot to work with with this squad. Like personally, you could probably just leave the squad as it is and you dominate. But obviously, been given 80 mil. We're gonna want to change things about and try new things. Obviously, we've got Antoine Griezmann up front. I'm looking forward to really using him, to be totally honest. But um, I'm gonna go for a 4 3 3 formation because you can't really go wrong with it. Griezmann as a solo striker, I really think that's a good idea. He does well up front on, on his own. Our defence is pretty solid, really. We have Godin. Jimenez and I'll black in that. Um, the only places where I feel I could change is the maybe a cam, a centre mid, uh, and a, a right back and a right winger. So they're the positions that we're aiming for. To be totally honest, our left back's fine, um, the, and our striker's fine. Defence, goalkeeper. It's all really, really good at the moment, so we're just going to set some, uh, you know, a few scout instructions to help if they can get me some players, because at the moment I really don't know who to get, and I don't want to repeat last year, so I want to sort of bring in new new faces, um, you know, different transfers and whatnot, just to see how that would play out for me, and obviously I'm going to need a bit of help with that, um, so you guys leave in the comments as well, but at the same time our scouts are doing a pretty decent job I've spotted Blaze Matuidi and Marco Verratti I feel like they'd be uh, do very well in the squad especially Matuidi I feel like we don't really have that centre defensive mid role in the squad we don't have a player like that so he'll fit in there really nicely we are in a pre-season tournament match so I'll just sim that and we won it 2-0 and um, not too hard about playing this you know, I'd rather just get it done and get through this transfer window then start playing the league games, etc. and whatnot. Um But but yeah, I was I was looking through for some uh, sp more specific sort of plays like what what leagues offer what positions, but you know, it really didn't help that much to be totally honest. Um but I did spot Inaki Williams and he's got a very, very good card, high pace and high physical which is aren't in this FIFA anyway and I feel like he'd be a very very good player in this squad so we are going to inquire him as you saw before and uh, hopefully we can bring him onto the squad I spotted Angel Di Maria as well you know maybe as a uh, uh, as a alternative option a more expensive option for Inaki Williams um, but we're also looking at a really good all-round centre midfielder. And nine goal has got that whole sort of package. Um, I think they wanted like 48, 46 mil for nine goal, which is a lot, and that's half my transfer budget. So I've really got to be careful with money. Um, De Marie's not for sale. Apparently, I could get him if I really tried. Um, we spotted Hamzik, and I reckon Hamzik could do a good job at Cam. He's had a Cam card in previous FIFA's, so. He'll he'll um perform really well on the squad, I think, as a cam position, and I am quite excited to hopefully use him if he um, manages to sign on for us. Um, 
Oh yeah, now we've got a game against Everton which we've lost for 2-0. Not a clue why, but yeah, we've got a chance for offer for this geezer. Um, I put it up to 21 mil because why not? Um, more money basically. They want 51 million for Hamzik, which is a lot, a lot of money for... Well, he's probably worth it, but at the same time, it's a lot of money and it's, you know, more, it's like 60% of our transfer um, budget and... You know, it's not. I don't have. I have a lot of money to work with. At the same time, I can't be going for huge, mega signings. Um, I've spotted Stefan Al Sharawi, which we will inquire about. Um, but still on the search for another centre midfield so I play. Want to hold it down, really. Um, this Ian Goal can do that, but at the same time. He's probably not going to get signed for us um, since he just moved to Chelsea. So there's a very, very low, low chance of him actually signing. But yeah, um, we are looking for that uh, right back and obviously the left wing, um, right winger. Um, but but yeah. Uh, anyway, continuing on, we are sort of messing about with the squad. Like I'm unsure. Of the players and whatnot, obviously one of our players got injured, um, but yeah, um, we absolutely dominated Liverpool in this game. Carrasco two, Griezmann two, Juanfran one, and someone else got a goal, so absolutely thrashed them. Um, they want 56 mil, 68 mil for Coutinho, and um, Eriksen was 58. Like the prices are really, really high this year, and it's going to be hard to get a good a good sort of player uh, but at the same time I'll try my best to get a bargain sort of deal alright so Koke is a very interesting player um, he used to be a cam I think in previous FIFA's which sort of makes me want to play in cam and try him out instead of going for like a really expensive um, uh, alternative cam and you know just sticking with what we've got and then just buying a centre midfielder but I'm not entirely sure to be honest we'll have to wait and see he doesn't have great shooting for a cam um, but yeah anyway our our um, bids on players um, no the asking prices on players came back and they wanted 51 million for Hamzik, 44 million for Nangle and then like 46 for Matuidi so I'm going to put 20 million on for Matuidi, um, obviously I'm just going to put on prices that I'm probably not going to get just to see, you know, where, how low I can go really, like where I can bargain for. We're going to put 16 million on Inaki Williams. They want 68 million for Gutinho, which is fucking loads, but we're going to try 38 million. We probably won't get him, but you know, it's worth a shot, right? Um, 31 million on um, Hamzik and. Uh, that's 20 million off the asking price. Di Marie is not for sale, and we're going to put 24 million on for nine golden, and that's uh, that's all the bids that we're going to put on for now anyway. Um, hopefully we can pick up those players because they're all they're all going to be very beneficial in my squad. They're all world class players as well. Um, they're all very 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 skillful and just. Um, exciting players to use really got an offer for this guy I'm gonna count off it for 9 million because um, I love money um, Korea uh, they agreed terms so that's another 20 million in the transfer budget and um, we got we, we got an offer for Griezmann and he's not really for sale but if they want to pay 100 million for him then be my guest Take him. We could probably buy another striker. He's just as good for probably less. But Griezmann is a very, very good player, and I can't wait to use him. So he's not particularly for sale. But like I said, if you want to pay that price, then go ahead. Um, but yeah, we were selling that player. That puts us on about 100 million transfer budget, which is um, which is very good for our club standing. They want 28 million for Anaki Williams. I'm gonna put down a 23 million. Um, bid because obviously I don't like paying full price and if we can get in for cheaper then you know uh, I'm buzzing really um, obviously uh, they don't 
they're not going to accept those offers so we're going to bump it up by 10 million either side uh, as you saw a second ago we did actually fully sell Korea so that's another one yeah another place sold so uh, good stuff I'm going to put a, another 10 mil on top of 9 goal and in hope that we can actually pick him up and uh, get him into the team so we can do his shizzle or whatever the fuck he does um, Barca offering 97 million which is an awful lot of money but um, I just can't take it I'll, 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 lower, I'll lower mine by 500 grand if they're willing to pay that then go ahead uh, they, uh, they're they not selling QT and they're not going to take 38 mil for him so oh well we're going to leave him uh, put down 30 million bid for Blaze with Tweedy in hopes to get him obviously to solidify our def um, midfield and you know bring a bit of balance uh, in there because uh, the players that I'm planning on getting are quite attacking yeah we did get to a final unfortunately we lost this was a pre-season so it didn't really matter but good news on the uh, transfer side we actually got all three players for cheaper we got Hamzik for 10 million cheaper we got nine goal for 10 million cheaper and we also got Inaki Williams for 5 million cheaper which is great I'm buzzing um, nine goals not at the top of my list I'm gonna make sure that I get Hamzik and Williams and then if I've got enough I'll get um, nine goal and um, no before I even get nine goal and I'll get Matui but obviously we're gonna put his contract through just just so things if it's at a point where I want to buy him, I can just buy him. I can just accept it since he's already accepted the contract and the bid. But yeah, that's where I'm gonna have to leave this episode for today, guys and girls. Hopefully you enjoyed episode one. Plenty more to come in episode two. Lots and lots of signings, I promise. So yeah, if you enjoy this episode guys and girls, please do leave a like, don't forget to subscribe. See ya.